Hi everyone, this is Nicole with VB Bud. Today we are talking about winter sowing. I'm gonna focus on native plants because that's what I'm growing. I have a mixture of plants, uh, seeds rather, that were purchased mostly from Prairie Moon Nursery. I do have a few uh, from Burpee as well. And then I do also have uh, quite a number that I have harvested from plants uh, in my yard. So uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I have used a seed starter mix from Espoma, their organic mix, and I have filled a 13, sorry, 72 cell tray, <laughs> thinking because it has, anyway, I'm really bad at math today, guys, I don't know, uh, but, so it's a 72 cell uh, plug tray that I've salvaged, I have filled that with that particular soil mix, and then, oh, where is it, I've also got another one here, um, wow, Aggie, uh, because I didn't count my seeds. Always count your seeds, be prepared for what you need um, and needed a spare tray. So uh, we're gonna be doing a row per species. Hopefully it all works out. Uh, the purpose of winter sowing is to replicate the experience that these plants would have in their native habitat, uh, which in this area would be Southeast Virginia, zone 8B now, thank you. Um, and they would experience uh, some cooler nights slightly warmer days comparatively, and a smattering of rain here or there. We don't really get snow here. If we do though this year, that'd be fine. I'd be okay with it. Um, in case you're wondering who howled earlier, that was Aggie, my fierce Rottweiler, who is not fierce. Anyway, find her hashtag on Instagram, hashtag the fierce Rottweiler. Yeah. What? We're talking about you. So, we're replicating that experience. Uh, a lot of people will do a humidity dome over their seed tray. I am not going to do that with these plants because they wouldn't necessarily experience that sort of environment out in the wild. They would be covered under a nice layer of perhaps oak leaves, which is what we have here, and they would do just fine with that. I am gonna put a mesh over the top of these trays to protect them from squirrels, rats, anything like that that might try to dig in and get them especially as they start germinating. That's pretty much it. We'll put them in the shade, and then as their little green bits start showing, we'll put them in the sun and <laughs> see what happens. Uh, hopefully this works. I am looking forward to the results. We've got in the background here some Cercis canadensis and red buds that I germinated at last year, grew from seed this year, and they're just gonna overwinter in their little solo cups. Doing just fine, happy little trees. So wish me luck. I'll update you guys in spring with how this all turns out. And hopefully we'll have a ton of plants. Have a great day.